The Court of Public Opinion is now in session. Scientists in the Netherlands have recently found that slapping cigarette style warning stickers on packages of meat could help shame buyers into purchasing something else. Why are they doing that? Well, they're doing it mainly to see what influence it has on consumers. And it's also this underground push to have people stop eating meat. Now, when it comes to this cigarette style warning stickers on packages of meat, some of the messages shown include sad pictures of animals with slogans like, animals suffer when you eat meat. <laughs> and the Amazon rainforest is destroyed when you eat meat. Really? Really? Look, I know. I look, look, there's no denying it. I know animals get slaughtered so we can eat meat. But the practices are done humanely. Well, animal mainly. You know what I mean? And uh, how's beef from Australia? <laughs> having an effect on the am I'm sure there's research somewhere or some very loosely tied link that I could probably go and research, but I'd much prefer to go cook myself a delicious steak instead. Mm. Researchers found that by adding a sticker to meat packages, warning potential customers about the negative consequences of their purchase, it may be an effective way to influences, uh, influence buyer's behavior. And the results, well, according to the uh, the authors, they have concluded that meat shaming messages, that's what they're calling it, meat shaming. Well, we all know their agenda when they, they use language and terminology like that. Meat shaming messages trigger shame, but also other negative emotions that translate into the reduced purchase intentions. I see lawsuits if that happens here in Australia. You will have your, uh, your, 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 your lamb associations and your, your beef associations su suing for, uh, for lack of sales. Uh, court of public opinion time. Let's grab the little gauntlet there, little hammer out. Look, I think we, as a globe, probably consume too much meat. And I think in recent years, we're, we've adjusted. We know that it's not the greatest for the animals and the environment all, and all of that stuff, but there has been a conscious shift in society to maybe not eat, you know, the, the traditional meat and three veg and potatoes every night for dinner. And and go for different options like your fish and your your vegetables and your stir fries and we, you know especially here in Australia we have adapted to this I you know I, I think we've, we've moved more in the right direction but b before we go down a path of shaming people for what they eat remember unlike tobacco products eating meat is not as harmful to your health maybe more harmful to the poor animal that was slaughtered. But, uh, you know, it's nature. We're carnivores. And we're not the only ones on this planet. Living things eating other living things. It's part of who and what we are. And, and, and let's not forget the benefits of eating meat. Meat is a great source of iron and protein, depending on the meat you eat. And you can imagine if we, we all suddenly stop eating meat, especially steak, the iron deficiencies. It's already a problem in society enough as it is with people having to take supplements to increase their iron, especially that's, I think it's more of a problem with women than it is with men. But, you know, you try to solve one problem, you create another. A balance needs to happen, not a shaming. And nothing. For me, personally, nothing, not even a cigarette-style warning sticker on a package is going to stop me from enjoying my bacon or my duck or my seafood or my blue cooked steak with a mushroom sauce. Mmm. And I say that because, you know, I was a smoker for a very long time 
and I still smoke cigarettes with the cigarette warning on it. I think that says more about me than anything else. <laughs> you watch it though. The sheep. The sheep here in Australia will follow suit and follow suit soon. And I guarantee you, not long will we see here this shaming, meat shaming, cigarette style warning labels, stickers on our packets of meat. It'll happen in the next couple of years. The sad, sad sheep will do it. And these sad, sad sheep, well, you know, they should have been slaughtered at the ripe young age and uh, served up as delicious lamb cutlets, in my opinion. <laughs> That's a joke for anyone who's half listening. <laughs> the Troy Murphy Show.